let's take a trip to Stonehenge. So first we got on the bus and it took us about two hours east of London to Salisbury where the monument is located. This was a Virto sponsored excursion included with the tuition and that means we rode on a bus with a really cool tour guide, shout out to Dave, who told us a lot about Stonehenge and London and everything in between. I really loved this trip, not only because we got to see the monument, but because we saw a lot of rural England on the way. I've totally loved London so far, but it was nice to get out of the city and see the farmland and plains for a change of pace. After some serious napping and pretty awesome views, we were finally there! Here we're walking up to the monument, and now, for the highlight of the trip, the cows! Some of my braver peers went down and walked with these guys, but I was happy just to see them from a bird's eye view. All jokes aside, Stonehenge is genuinely awe-inspiring. Here are some fun facts from my art history class. Each of the stones weighs several tons, and the largest is around 13 feet tall. We don't know much about it, but we do know that it's a type of grave, as we found human remains beneath it, and it really amazed me that 150 people would take the time and effort to move each of these rocks thousands of miles to commemorate their dead. To me, it's a testament to how acutely humans feel grief, and I think it, that's beautiful. However you interpret the monument, it's a deeply spiritual place, and I'm really grateful to have seen it. Although this trip was the source of a very early morning, it's something I'll never forget. Thank y'all for joining me. I'll catch you next time.